What's up? Cheesy intro for now. What's up, YouTube? It Ray at you once again. Today, I picked up something at the Goodwill, and I'm gonna give a, I'm gonna give a strange story of how I acquired this particular item before I actually reveal it because the, the story is kind of funny. So, if you follow my channel. Uh, you know, I, I tell you that I like I search Craigslist, offer up, let go, a newspaper, anywhere that has like, you know, classified ads just to see stuff for sale. Just you know, I don't necessarily always have money to buy stuff, but I always just look, just to be looking, you know, because you never know. Well, today I went up. To the Goodwill, I had 20 bucks on me. I said, oh, let me just ride up to the Goodwill. And uh, I see, I got a favorite one that I go to. So I said, let me let me go to that one. And I go and I, I'm walking around, doing my thing, searching. And I see a guy. Uh, he's, he, was, he was at the electronics section when I was walking up to it. And it funny story is it's like he he looked back when i was walking up he looked at me then he turned back around real quick and he grabs grabs something off the shelf and he just put it in his car and, and walked away you know i at the time i didn't i didn't think nothing of it you know I'm like hey he just acting weird you know so i'm i'm rummaging through uh the stuff there and all that and then um uh, i'm gonna say probably about i'm gonna say maybe five to ten minutes seven minutes later the guy comes back and uh he puts the suitcase back on the shelf and walks away so I look at it, I look at I'm looking at this suitcase because it, the only reason it caught my attention is because he snatched it up when I was walking and he took off, you know, but then he he brought it back. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this towel off so this is gonna give it you probably can't see it in the camera right away, but this word right here says Syncor. And uh, going by some of the stuff that I do following other people's channels and all that, you know, I say, Syncor, that might be a, a rejuvenator or whatever. So I, I don't know. I, but I, so what I did, I, gra I grabbed it. You know, I didn't have nothing else in my hand. I grabbed it. I didn't look at it. I didn't open it up. And I, I made a beeline to the cashier. So while I'm paying for it, here comes the guy. He comes back and he's like, "Hey, hey, I, I was gonna buy that, and uh, you, you, you took it from." I said, "No, no, sir. You, uh, you put it back on the shelf and walked away." I said, "That's just a way of telling me that you didn't want it." I said, "I grabbed it. I'm paying for it now." So we got in this big argument, and uh, and uh. So, you know, we ended up bringing a manager out there about it and stuff. I said, well, I said, hey, look, I didn't take nothing out this guy's card. I didn't I didn't take nothing out his hand. I said, if y'all got security footage over there, just go over there and look at the footage. You will see. So the manager, <laughs> she goes back there, comes back about 15 minutes. I don't know why it took her so long to do it. But she tells the other guy, like, sir, uh, you put the item back on the shelf and you walked away. Uh, he, had to, he had the right to pick it up if you wanted. I was like, well, so I thanked the manager and all that and paid for the item and took off out of there because this guy was hot, you know. So just to not bore you with the story, um, Get this price of the, let me get the price of this in the shot here. Can you see that? 
Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. I don't know. I don't know where this thing actually came from, but that's what I paid for it. Four ninety nine. And um, that in there make it look decent. So you know, when I paid for it, I went in the car and I, and I opened it up. And lo and behold, that's that's what it is. It's a it's a tube rejuvenator. Uh, it's got the instruction manual, uh, parts list. You no, know, I guess everything that would have came with it. Replacement parts, leads. Uh, it's got the it's got the book that you you know you would uh, that you would go through for different tubes, and then you pull this this thing back here. It has all the all the different sockets um, that it comes with. Let me, let me lower this camera for y'all. Get y'all a better shot. <clears throat> get y'all a better shot of things. I don't know. You can get you can get confusing sometimes. I know. I know. I know. But comes with the different sockets um unfortunately it doesn't have a socket for the g07 which i came home and tested everything and it don't have the one for the sanyo uh the nintendo monitor so i reached out to buffett at buffett arcade because i know he makes he makes that kind of stuff. He said he'd be able to make a socket for me. So we are um I got in contact with him. We're working out the details of what I need to do to make a socket, but I hadn't plugged this up to see if it worked or not, because I was just so excited to get it home and you know I was gonna film this video. So I'm gonna plug this thing up and uh, you know, see if it see if it works. And because you know it's untested, I don't have any way of testing it. But we can plug it up and see if it works, right? We can do that. So, uh, let's power switch. Okay, that's good. The light, power light comes on. So, in that sense, we we in good hands. So, um, all I need to do is. Uh, have Mr. Buffett make that socket for me. And uh, I think I got an old star, where my Stargate, it's not an old Stargate, in my Stargate cabinet, that G07, it really needs a cap kit, but I guess we can test the rejuven on that one first. But um, yeah, I mean, it's on. I'm not going to plug in no socket or nothing because I ain't got nothing to do. So let me turn it off because I don't know if that's going to hurt everything. But yeah, for, um, you can see the price there, $4.99 at the Goodwill. I got a rejuvenator. Uh, probably got to spend about another 50 bucks getting the, the pieces that I need, need to actually use this with the monitors I have, uh, I guess uh, GL7, 
like K4600 and K7000. So if, if you experts out there, let me know if all of those could use the same socket or of what, what, but I know for, for sure I need a GO7 socket, um, whatever fits on that one. And I have uh, two Nintendo games, so I would like to have sockets for them for in the future if I need to rejuvenate a monitor or something. But, you know, just making this video short and sweet, uh, not going to go too much into this because I can't use it at the moment, but I have it. I will put it to use uh, once I get some more equipment for it, and we'll do a video on, on rejuvenating the monitor, you know. So if you guys can help me out with with uh, with monitor uh, sockets, you know, leave them in the comments below. I know a lot of you guys, there's some experts out there that watch my channel. They just... They just keep silent, but it's some experts. You know who you are. I won't call you out. You know, help me out with this. I mean, because you know, this is for a novice to get hold of one of these. You know, this is going to be a great learning tool because I got, I got actually some old monitors that I pulled out of games that I didn't throw away that I can test this on. You know, so it'll be something fun to do. Just something different for a change going in the technical aspect of it, you know, and I can take another newbie along with me and they'll watch it, and, you know, it won't make them so scared because, like, my my fear of fixing games is becoming less and less because I'm at that point now where I'm going to try it myself and then if I break it out, I just send it even, send it out to the pros and blame it on somebody else. <laughs> But uh, that's all. I'm not going to be rambling on about this. Uh, if you like my videos, hit the like button. If you like my channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, hit the little bell for notifications to let you know when I'm putting out a new video. Um, so until the end, you know, uh, next time watching, this is Ed Ray. And we'll be signing out. Thank you.